Hi everyone, this is the second section of my favourite books of 2015. This is the non-fiction, the short stories, the other than novels section. Let's get cracking. Uh, so the first one is The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell. And I'm not just saying this because she's my friend. I'm saying this because this is a wonderful book. I read it at the beginning of the year, about the same time that I read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And that, that was a really good holiday for reading really good books. I brought this with me on my travels from New Zealand and I have been to a few bookshops that are in this book. And yeah, if you love books, then the bookshop book is for you. The second non-fiction book is Girls Will Be Girls by Emo Tool. This is part memoir, part kind of gender deconstruction. This is a book all about how we perform our gender, how we act, how we dress, the makeup that we wear or don't wear, and how this kind of defines us. There's a lot in here about body hair as well and a lot of it's based on her own personal experience. If you're interested in any of these kinds of issues then I would highly recommend this. It deals with really serious topics but also Emura Tool has a great sense of humour. I would recommend the audiobook for this as well. It's a really thought-provoking book too and it, it really made me think about and question some of the things that I do and why I do them. The next one is sort of along similar lines, but not really. It is Zami, A New Spelling of My Name by Audrey Lord. This is a memoir. I think it's out of print, but you can get it on Audible. So I highly, highly recommend that you do that. The audiobook is, again, fantastic. It's another feminist memoir and Audrey Lord is awesome such an amazing woman. So this is not only from a female perspective but it's also from a woman of colour and a lesbian woman of colour. So if you're wanting to broaden your reading experience in 2016 then this is one that I would highly recommend and I'm also really looking forward to reading more of Audrey Lord's work. Another memoir by an awesome female author is Just Kids by Patti Smith. I think I really read this at the right time. It's all about her moving to New York and discovering herself discovering love and discovering art and oh there's so much so much art and music and it's all about creativity like Audre Lorde she writes in a very beautiful lyrical way and this is really a book that lives up to the hype another book in this category is The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer which just makes you want to hug everyone and love the world it's really beautiful again about creativity and about being a good person. So much art and, and music and culture and I just love it. Okay on to short stories. We have A Guide to Being Born by Ramona Osabel. This is a magical realism collection. It's really bizarre and quirky and it's actually one of those ones that I want to reread. It really deals with the ideas of life and death and birth and because of that it has some wonderfully feminist themes which always makes me happy. Along similar lines we have the fabulously feminist fairy tale retellings that are Kissing the Witch by Emma Donoghue. These are so so good. They are retellings of well-known fairy tales but with a feminist twist. I don't want to give too much away but oh, they're so good and the way that she links them all together is just superbly done. Then we have Some 40 Tales from the Afterlife by David Eagleman. These are strange and wonderful tales and again I would really recommend the audiobook because each story is narrated by a different narrator and there are quite a number of well-known voices in there too. It's sort of all these strange and wonderful theories on what happens after we die and it's it's so bizarre. I suppose you might call it magical realism, but in some ways it's in a category of its own. And finally, my very favourite fairy tale collection of this year, and possibly my favourite fairy tale collection ever, or favourite short story collection ever, because I loved every single story. So often with short stories, I find that I really love a lot of them, but then there are one or two stories that kind of let it down a bit for me. And because of that, I can't quite give it five stars. But the one where I loved every single story was New World Fairy Tales by Cassandra Parkin. These are all fairy tale retellings of well-known fairy tales. I did recognise all of them. And they're set in the New World being America. But the way that she brings together important political or, um, or current issues into these fairy tales 
which are so very old and make some new. It's really brilliant. I was totally blown away by this collection. Sadly, I don't have a copy of this because I borrowed it from Jen Campbell, but I think I might have to put this on my list of ones to buy because I would like to reread it. So there we are, those are my favourite non-fiction books and short story collections of this year. I am reading The Portable Shelter by Kirsty Logan at the moment and that might just make it onto the list. I don't know if I will actually finish it this year though. So I hope you enjoyed this and maybe got some recommendations from it. If you have any recommendations for me based on what I have just said, then do put those in the comments below. Or if you want to chat and discuss any of the books that I mentioned, then the comments are down below. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will hope to see you next time. Bye.